All right, man. It's your boy Shady Luke. Week one of the NFL. This boy, this boy Tua. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. I had my doubts about Tua. I have a couple family members that were like, "Nah, Shady, you're wrong. You're wrong. Tua's good. Tua's good." I had my doubts. The last couple years under McDaniel's offense, my tune with Mc, my tune with Tua has completely changed. Like completely changed. I'm like, as long as this man is healthy and on the field with that offense, with Waddle and Tyreek Hill, they're nearly unstoppable. Like, most teams, <laughs> dude, dude, I, I don't even know how to describe their offense. The best way I'd say to describe it, with McDaniels coming from Kyle Shanahan, is a mix of Kansas City in 2020 and a Kyle Shanahan offense. They get people wide open, in space, vertical upfield, and it's crazy, and it's scary with Waddle and Hill. They're just so fast. But man, let's take a couple look at throws from two of this Sunday. This man went off. If I remember right, he did the same exact thing last year. I'm on, I, I can't remember who they went up against last year, but I do remember he went off. And today, he went off against the Chargers. So let's take a look at that. All right, we got the Dolphins at an empty set. Waddle in the slot in the bottom. And watch this two-yard slant. Tua stands in, throws that dart. Mm. And you know your boy freaking Waddle is going to take that for deal. Look at, just look at that. Look at the speed. Look at the speed, but the throw was really good on uh, on Tua though. Like he stood in there and you kind of saw a little bit of pressure from that end. He just stood in there, delivered a nice, accurate ball. That's what he does. He's really good with underneath throws. Super nice and accurate. All right, so the Dolphins are gonna come out in the empty set and watch Tua hit the wide receiver up at the top of the five yard slant. Nice, easy throw, good timing, good placement, and a good catch. Beautiful, Just beautiful play all around. But here's the crazy part. Look at the bottom right here. I'm pretty sure that the Chargers are in some type of cover three and watch these DBs jump the ball on the crosser coming across and look at the two guys open at the bottom. There's only a safety back there. Now, Tua did a great job in this game, but this is just another play just go to show just how good McDaniels is at getting these guys into open space. This is a play that honestly, if Tua would have waited just a little bit longer instead of just anticipating that slap, this could have been another deep ball to one of those guys at the bottom it's crazy it's crazy there's like yards left on the field and he still threw for over 400 yards all right with this play we got the dolphins out of the shotgun and watch the wide receiver at the top he's gonna route about a five yard in um kind of brings it upfield a little bit but watch to a fight through this in the pocket takes the face mask still fights through that and just delivers a dime man just a complete dime the wide receiver really had to work off the press too but Tua, Tua got a lot of slack last year for his injuries and a lot of people talk about how he doesn't throw the best deep ball he may not throw the best deep ball but man underneath this guy is extremely accurate especially in McDaniel's system all right on this play we got them out of the shotgun and look at Tyree kill right there squatting like he's about to light up that DN motions over and your man goes for like a 15 17 yard dig and Tua with the, just another beautiful ball to a guy open in space you can criticize that all you want. His his 15 to 25 yard passes are beautiful. And that's just another easy dime from Tua right here. All right, on this play, Miami's gonna run a little bit of play action. And Tyreek Hill's gonna run a deep post. Actually, it's not super deep, but he runs a post. And Tua does a great job of stepping into this. The pass is a little bit low. Would have wished for that to be just a little bit higher. So Tyreek Hill doesn't really have to go down for that. But you know, he still caught it in stride and it was still a really good play. All right, we got him out of shotgun right here. And watch a Tua when he gets this pressure coming at him from the left. This is this is what makes it interesting when he's a left-handed quarterback. I mean, you see it when right-handed quarterbacks are rolling out to the left to kind of have to flip their body. But with Tua, it's hard because he's already in position. And, you know, we just don't really see a lot of left-handed quarterbacks. But that's just beautiful ball distribution to the fullback. It's a nice throw right here. It's always a trip to me when I watch Tua throw that lefty, man. Because, you know, as we know, most of quarterbacks are right-handed. But with him, it just gives me like Michael Vick vibes. Obviously, he's not quick like Vick, but you know what I mean. All right, tight end at the top, right off the left tackle. You'll see that he's going to run about a 15-yard hitch. And when Tua get met, you'll see he's already in a rhythm. He's already in a rhythm. And that tight end just sits in a soft spot in the zone, gets the ball, nice and easy catch. When he gets in this type of rhythm, he's almost automatic. Now, he did make mistakes in this game. He threw some picks you know obviously had some bad plays but when he gets in a rhythm like this it's just smooth underneath all right on this play we got them out of the 11 personnel out of the shotgun and you'll see at the top the tight end off the left tackle he's going to hit the chip and then he's just going to dump right out into the flats nice easy throw for Tua, easy first down so 
Sometimes those throws are really underrated. Sometimes you just got to hit them. All right, we're going to have him out of the empty. And the bottom right there in the bunch, right? Tyreek Hill is going to run a seam. And I don't even think he's finished with his route. But Tua just hits him in stride. And that thing is right on the money, man. Beautifully placed right over defenders. In between defenders. Matter of fact, right to the cheetah. Ooh. Ooh. Man, Tua was dealing in this game. This is just game one, man. Back from injury last year. He's looking good. And the offense is looking damn smooth. All right. Miami's going to run some play action right here. And two is going to take off. And I know, Miami fans, you guys are clenching your teeth because we saw this dude get hurt bad twice last year. But he goes through his progression. He doesn't see anything. Tucks down, makes a little bit of a move, and just slides. Super smart play. And honestly, I think we're going to see a lot more from that from Tua this year. I heard in the offseason he worked a lot on coming down, not on his head when he's being slammed. And I think you'll see a lot more of him slamming and just kind of taking his body to the ground as opposed to letting the defender slam him to the ground. So be excited, man. All right, on this play, the Chargers, they're going to be manned up basically all across the board. And they're only sending three. And right here, I love the choice for him to take that shot. But come on, man, like that thing wasn't there. That was good coverage. And this is kind of where people go after Tua for like his whole like deep ball narrative which i really don't agree with because sometimes with the deep ball it comes down to just like timing honestly um but sometimes you just need to air it out and this is one of those throws where he just i don't know he let it rip and it was underthrown guy just picks it off really didn't like this play from tua yeah man i mean i i've said it about miami's offense and i stand by it their team is just so dangerous vertically with their speed and and tua when he's in and he's healthy and their offensive line is healthy you just you can't stop them for four quarters that's all I'm saying. You can't stop them for four quarters. I'm not saying they're unstoppable, but they're just hard to keep up with. But man, Miami's offense, they looked really good in week one. And there was a lot of sloppiness around the NFL coming out of week one. And I think that's because of teams not really playing their offenses in the preseason. I bet you that's a big part of it. So going forward, we're going to see a lot of cleanup. But there were, their team and their offense was one of the few that just looked like really clean and really quick coming out. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of Tua's week one performance? Anyways, guys, it's your boy Shady Luke. Drop a like if you enjoyed the footy today. And for sure, subscribe because you know your boy's going to be dropping dope football content. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Audi, and I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. <laughs>